Hey guys, it's Angelique here and this is Cars in the Community. Today we're taking a 2019 Ford Fusion from Smell Ford into downtown Greensburg to visit Westmoreland Cultural Trust and their Arts Incubator Project. This is right next to the palace. We're a big supporter of the arts in Greensburg, so we're excited to get down there and check this out. Hi, my name is Kelly Brisbane, and I'm the Director of Corporate Engagement at Events for the Westmoreland Cultural Trust. We are a nonprofit organization in Westmoreland County, and we own and manage the Palace Theater. Uh, one of our newest initiatives is our Incubator for the Arts. We're really excited to have you here today for an inside look inside the artist studio. Uh, we have about 14 local and student artists. Uh, some professional artists as well, and you'll notice the varying level of textures, materials, different types of artwork that they have inside each studio. And one of my favorite things you'll get to look at is just how unique each individual artist studio is in relation to what they do and the type of art that they produce. My name is Stacy Penikowski, and I am an incubator artist. And welcome to my space. So I grew up nearby in Mount Pleasant. I went to St. Vincent College and I've lived in Latrobe ever since. And I was introduced to downtown Greensburg a few years ago and just in awe of all the opportunities arising. It felt like a renaissance of sorts for the arts and it spawned my creativity to the next level. And getting a chance to have this space and share it with studio mate Sarah Hunter um, it's been an incredible opportunity to create our own space. And I am a painter. I focus heavily on human emotion and the dialogue that happens between the artist and the viewer, especially when art is shown in a public space beyond the confines of a gallery wall. And that's whenever the dialogue between an artist and the viewer becomes most accessible. Hi, my name is Sarah Hunter. I'm an incubator artist. Stacy Pinnikowski and I have been sharing the studio since November of last year. We are very grateful for the space. I like to paint a little bit big. I'm definitely messy. So having a space like this where I can be free, be creative, and be myself has been really rewarding and I'm really grateful for it. For me, painting is a therapeutic means of expression. Psychology was my minor at St. Vincent College. Studio art was my major. I'm very interested in human emotion. And for me, creating is therapy. So I want the viewer to also get a therapeutic feeling from it. So it's important for me that art is healing. So I'm really grateful for the space and I'm grateful to continue my mission. You know, my favorite thing about the Incubator Project is the chance to be infused within the city and the culture of Greensburg. And I look out the window and I see so many people just alive, thriving, and I'm able to infuse that energy into my work. And it's a wonderful opportunity having this space that we can truly make our own. And I don't have to worry about all these paintings here being in my closet. I'm Joyce Malice, photos by Joyce, and I'm a photographer. Uh, in studio, I do newborns and first birthdays, occasionally families, little kids, boudoir, all the fun stuff. It gave me a space to be not only creative, but to be around lots of creative people, which is very inspiring on a daily basis just to kind of walk through the halls and to have the opportunity to have my artwork building size <laughs> hung outside is, is also pretty cool that anyone driving down Main Street can see it. Oh, I have a few ballerina pieces, but my favorite is the life-size one um, on the building out in the parking lot. She was just a girl I put it out on Facebook. She had a great backstory, so I chose her and she came at sunset and we went on top of the parking garage, which I thought was also cool because it was city, Greensburg and close, and she was just amazing. It was She made it super, super easy. This has been a great opportunity to allow me to go full-time because now I have something all winter. Hello, my name is Sheila Cuellar Schaefer. I am a visual artist, a painter. I am originally from Colombia. My studio is my base for painting and um, I mean, my clients come here as well, and I like to show them around and the other artists. I came from Colombia, so uh, many of my, a lot of my work um, is based in um, pre-Columbian art and artifacts. That's what inspired me. They felt empowered with nature 
and they use you know all the all the artifacts they use and if all the decoration they use the jewelry and all that that's what i use a lot in um, my designs that image over there was part of a campaign uh, with the amplifier foundation which is a national foundation that provides the art so people go out and vote and some of the paintings are like related to social issues and uh, some of the other paintings are like um, let's say for example the ones you see that are like semi-abstract landscapes are um, kind of representations of my experience as an immigrant and more like about feelings and emotional you know the emotional representation of that i'm very happy to have this studio here and not only because it's at the town where i live but it's downtown Greensboro so it is uh, very easy for people to get here I mean it's a safe place I'm surrounded by the view is beautiful and I love that I get to meet other artists we're all if you see all the studios you see very different art we're in very different stages we like I mean it and it's amazing to have this community here you can also take an in-person uh, closer look at our Arts Walk, which is on Saturday, April 27th, which is um, presented in, in combination between the Westmoreland Cultural Trust and the Westmoreland Museum of American Art. So again, that's on Saturday, April 27th in downtown Greensburg. Please check out thegreensburgartswalk.com. All right, guys, that's it for this episode of Cars in the Community. I want to give a big thanks to Kelly Brisbane and all of the artists for sitting down and speaking with us. We had a great time checking out the studios. That has been Cars in the Community. Thanks for watching.